one, Joseph? Yeah, uh, well, we're tracking that wildfire smoke. We're tracking wildfires. It's all kind of combined together. It's warranted. You know, it's so dry out there uh, that they put those bans in place. If you go a little bit farther west, though, out towards the coast, uh, that's going to be the nice slice of weather over the next couple of days. But I want to show you what's going on. We have a couple parts to our weather story, right? We have the heat, but we also have the wildfire smoke. And the combination of the two may lead to some air quality issues as a result. So here's what we have going on with one of our weather models. Outside right now, there may be a haze out towards the Dalles and through sections of you know the Cascades. But as we go through the course of today, most of the smoke stays away from the northern Willamette Valley. Can't rule out maybe some smoke down to the south and even some smoke trying to push in from the north there out of this wildfire up in Washington. But we factor all that going on, a shift in the wind on Thursday, and I think we're going to have more wildfire smoke moving right into areas of Portland by the time we head into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a combination of both Washington and the wildfire smoke kind of getting transported up from the south to the north. And I think on Friday it may even be thicker, which may keep our temperatures down a, a degree or two. As far as air quality goes right now in the valley, it's it's OK until you get to about Eugene and then we start noticing the unhealthy to uh, maybe unhealthy for sensitive groups, even a very unhealthy down towards Medford. So air quality is uh, seeing uh, sort of an impact and it's not that great for those areas that are closer to the source down to the south. So just know if you're doing anything outdoors, you want to get things done early. And if you have to do it in the afternoon, be careful with the air quality, especially down to the south. All right, here's our view of our Subaru of Portland camera here. You can see out of the coin tower temperatures at 87 degrees, lower 90s over the next couple of hours. I have a stopping off at the triple digits. I think anywhere from about 4 to 6 p.m. there is when we will be right in that window. I've gone ahead and zoomed in the excessive heat warning. I showed you the one that was a little bit farther away, uh, but notice that it cuts off right there along the Oregon coast. So again, if you want to find some cooler air, you're going to have to head out to the Oregon coast. That is in effect until Saturday. It is in the lower 80s though right now, and it looks like they're preparing for the volleyball tournament out there. That looks like it's going to be a blast. Uh, nice weather, nice clear blue sky. The high pressure is just off towards the west. That's kind of controlling everything. And as we go through the next couple of days, this high pressure that's spiraling around kind of like a bicycle wheel, that's going to move to the east and eventually it's out of here by the time we get to Sunday. But once it kind of stamps right over the Pacific Northwest tomorrow and Friday, that's when the heat for us is really going to kick on in. You can see it here as we add some color there. It really builds. So the heat wave is here. I mean, we are going through that heat right now. This is about the third or fourth heat wave that we've had so far this summer, leading to just a very warm, warm August and summer altogether. All right, I want to show you what's going to cool us down. It's this system right here that's going to arrive Sunday night into Monday. We'll take it. Bring in the cool air. That should drop us down to probably the lower 80s by Monday. So again, the excessive heat warnings till Saturday. Sunday is kind of a transition day. Cooler weather arriving on Monday. I'll show you on the seven day forecast. In fact, we have 104 today, 102 tomorrow. I've lowered that down to 102 because I think the smoke may impact us a little bit. And that goes for Friday as well. 96 degrees on Saturday, 89 on Sunday. No rain in the forecast, but we will take 81 on Monday with that cooler air arriving. All right, we'll be back right after the break. Keep it right here.